Yo guys, what's up? Anyway, um, I apologize for the video yesterday. So something I wanted to do was I wanted to talk about my loadout for the Everyday Messenger. And yeah, I, I, I had a special packing style that I did for this trip. And uh, it really worked out great, and I wanted to I wanted to show it off a little bit, the gear that I brought with me here uh, this week. But I want to talk about my outerwear a little bit too, because I think it's a I think it's a nice nice thing to talk about. People don't necessarily cover a lot of that stuff. I mean, this is like an EDC video, but really it's like an extended EDC video for like if you're on business travel. So I had my my little hat here, my flannel or my fleece hat. This is awesome. Um, in my other pocket, I had some. Uniqlo thermal gloves. These are a little bit warmer than your stretchy gloves. These are fine for walking around in 30 degree temperature. So that was great. My uh, Patagonia jacket has been like my go-to jacket for, for almost just about everything I've been working with. Um, when I'm going to Big Bear to see my dad or if I'm on business travel, it seems to work really well. This is a Patagonia, I have a number on here. I'll try to find it and then you can check it out. Um, it's the it's the thermal one. It's the Polar Tech jacket. It's windproof. It's really nice. It's it's a great outer layer. Um, so if you're wearing like a sweater or if you have a fleece on under this, which is what I did, I either wore a fleece or I had a sweater on. Anyway, you guys have seen my Everyday Messenger before. This is my uh, the tan model. I'm not sure the exact color, but I'm gonna walk through what I brought on this trip. And so far, except for one major thing been able to use everything and it's been very successful. So you know that I, I film on my Canon G7X and it's sitting on top of a, a monopod um, little tripod thing which uh, I'll post the link to you so you can check that out. I have this Petzl carabiner which has been just one of my... <laughs> A good carabiner and and one with an, a big wide gate. You want the widest opening possible that you can shove something through there. Very very awesome. I got I've gotten questions in the past about what kind of laptops can you put in here. So I have a 13 inch MacBook Air, and I have I guess this is like a 13. It's like an a, it's like a 12 inch uh, HP mobile book. I can put both of those in if I stack them um, top to top, which is pretty cool. And then I also put an iPad, got an iPad. So already just this technology right here, right? That's a pretty good chunk of stuff. But wait, there's more. So in the main compartment, main compartment here, you can see I've got the, the divider set up for three separate chambers. Go through the boring stuff first, get that out of the way. My chargers for the laptop, my cables, you've seen my, my little pouches. I'm, I'm a big fan of pouches so that I can just grab them and throw them in my bag. These are all the cables for phones, chargers, um, whatever it is I'm running that week I bring. Here's an antenna that goes with my Baofeng UV3R radio. This is like the radio that I take with me in most cases because it's so light and portable and it, it just packs away. And it's a USB charging and it's a USB programmable radio so I always bring one of these with me. I've got a little baggie here with my my earplugs in it. Now, um, I recently switched to the iPhone 7. This is the space black or the flat black, no, whatever the shiny black one is. But anyway, it, it uses the lightning connector. There's no more headphones connector. So I have to bring both a regular headphone and a lightning headphone. So that's in the baggie. My battery backup, battery bank. This is a 12,000 milliamp hour power ad. This is an older model, but it just works so well that I have no reason to change it because it's working. Why? It's not broken, don't fix it. I like these little uh, moleskin notebooks. This is a Volant, I think they call it. I'll, I'll post the link in the description. Great little notebook, great paper. So if you've got a nice little pen, uh, let me go back a little bit. Like if you use a Pilot G2 or, or a pen like that that has like a roller ball that has like a really smooth ink, this paper is perfect for that. And what's really cool about these, I, I didn't mention it, but um, towards the back, the last 50 or so slices of paper, they're perforated. So if you need to do like a buck slip, like if you need to, if you need to make a, 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 a to-do list and hand it off to somebody, you can write it, tear it out, and boom, hit them up. Big time awesome if you guys um, have people working for you or you gotta, you gotta delegate to people. 
awesome. I have a Lassie, uh, this is a three terabyte hard drive. This is what I do all my editing on. This is my mobile scratch drive, if you will. This thing is awesome. It's so freaking fast, man. Uh, I can, I'm editing live, there's no slowdown. I, I export my video from the camera directly into this and I can just edit live, which is, it's like one less thing you have to worry about. You just do it, you go, it's awesome. You can do this with your pictures. If you're, if you're, if you're a photographer, if you're taking a lot of pictures, this, these things are awesome. Totally recommend this when you're out and about and then you can sync it back when you get home, sort all that out. So, um, middle big pocket, here it is guys. The thing that I haven't been able to use all week because of the crazy wind. There's so much wind here in Colorado Springs. I brought my Mavic, my Mavic Pro drone. I wanted to get some sweet drone footage, um, particularly on the weekend. Some plans have changed a little bit, but this is my, my portable, it's a portable drone. So that's why I carry it. It fits perfectly in the middle pocket. I don't have to, I don't have to worry about anything. And uh, I carry, I, I won't, I'm not going to pull it out, but this is use, it uses a micro SD card. I, um, I have an adapter that you, that I use to pull the videos off of this. It's great. Um, next to that is the controller. The controller for the Mavic Pro is so amazing. You pop down the bottom here, you pop out these little arms, and your iPhone slides right into it. And it uses this for the camera on the drone and then you pop up the two aerials and you're flying this controller is like a game changer for just quick um, video production it's it's super cool it, uh, it's 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 possibly like my most favorite thing about the mavic pro is this controller so that's pretty much the main compartment there's a little a little hideaway pocket that's where i put my passport there's a top pocket up here that's a zipper control i put my wallet in here a lot of days i'll go quickly through the little front pouch there's a little zipper front pouch i keep my uh, my mouse my little portable this is a logitech mouse i'll put that in the description as well very very cool there's it's a three button well it's, it's multi-button you got two buttons and you got a button here and then this thing goes left and right and then you got a scroll wheel awesome and that's all programmable I got a charger for my my uh, camera. I always carry a uh, Thunderbolt cable to HDMI connector. So if I ever need to go from my laptop to uh, the TV, I do that. And I have done that in the past for different places I've been in where it's like, dude, what am I gonna watch? Leatherman style CS. I've done a video on this in the past. Um, this is nothing fancy. A little bit of scissors here. Hardly use the scissors. I'll tell you why I keep this with me. I'll tell you why I always go back to this thing. This nail file is like the best nail file I've ever had on a pocket knife. It's It's got just enough surface to it. It's it's rough enough. It's rougher than most uh, nail files. And it, it just gets in there. If you ever got like a little something pop off your nail, just hit it with this thing. It's good to go. A lot of this stuff is pretty mundane, just pens and whatnot, but the last item I'll, I'll talk to you about is this Stanley pen-sized screwdriver. And it comes with these dual-sided bits, a small bit for an Allen and a flat, or standard. Um, you can switch that around to the back end, and then you've got a larger, right? And there you can clip the pen cap onto the bottom so you won't lose the caps. I always keep this in this bag and a Streamlight Stylus Pro. This is just a really, it, it's not a powerful light, but you always have it, if it's always there, it's good. It's the size, of, it's a little bit bigger than a pen. You put it in the pen spot, you let it disappear, and you go about your life, and it's good to go. The last thing, and I've mentioned it so many times, I don't know if you guys are taking me at my word, but I swear if you, if you do this, if you start integrating this in your life, your life's gonna get a lot better. Tide pen. Tide pens are awesome. Um, if you if you get a stain or whatever, hit it with a Tide pen. You know, use the little plastic. It's not a soft tip. It's it's a hard plastic tip, but it's good because you use that to rub the the Tide fluid into the stain, and you're not necessarily going to pull the stain out immediately. 
but it will prevent the stain from setting so that you can wash it in your in your washing machine and it goes right away. So um, that's it. That's all I was going to show you today in my bag. What else I got in here? I got all kinds of stuff. There's little pockets all over the Everyday Messenger. I really, you know I like this thing. Now, let me get something out of the way. I am an affiliate of the uh, Peak Design Systems, their bags that they have. I've been a big advocate of theirs for a while. You can see multi my, multiple of my videos covering the Peak Design bags. Huge fan of theirs. I am an affiliate. That means that I get a cut if you buy something, but at the same time, I never do an affiliate deal where I can't pass a value on to you guys, and so um, I have a 10% coupon. I'll post the link in the description. 10% off coupon on anything you buy from the Peak Design website. That's great. Um, I can't tell you enough about their bags, the Everyday Messenger, the Everyday Backpack, the Sling, and the Tote Bag. The Tote Bag, Leia carries it. That's her baby bag. It is also super, super awesome. So. That's all I wanted to talk about. Oh, you know what? Also, this guy, the Range Man, I can't say enough about this watch. I will do an in-depth video review of it in the future. I really, really enjoy having a barometer on me for some reason. It's kind of weird to say, right? I, the, the ability to take barometric pressure, it kind of like, I don't think that much about it, but now that I'm talking about it, I'll, I'll walk through it. The fact that I have this kind of intuitive knowledge of the barometric pressure of what's going on around me is pretty cool because it's something I would have never thought about had I not been exposed to it by carrying something with the, with the barometer on it. Great. And I, I like that it's the black face with the white numbering and the white lettering. It's got a great little illumination. Just all kinds of cool things I can say about that, and I will in the future. Um, question of the day, you can go in detail, you can itemize, you can do whatever you'd like here, but tell me what your travel system is. Everybody has a carry-on bag, like things they, they just have to have with them. This was my things that I have to have with me. I, I, had my, I also have my radio, one of my shortwave radios, but I didn't bring this in my carry-on. There's no way that that would really fit, plus, you know, I am a big enough geek that I probably would pull a short shortwave radio out of my bag and start trying to listen to it on an airplane. But um, no, I didn't do that. That was in my my carry on or my my checked luggage. But yeah, tell me about your your carry on bag. The things you you must have. You know, I've got chapstick too, and and my um, Neosporin spray. I don't know why I'm so in love with this because it it's not that big a deal. It's a little bit of lidocaine. A little bit of neosporin, whatever. I just like it. I like the form factor. Anyway, I'd love to hear your thoughts, your opinions, what you, what your little tips are. Your tips, seriously, I've integrated a ton of your tips into my my travel, my travel lifestyle. And what's funny is, I don't talk about it, but um, the stuff that you guys recommend is so good that it like seamlessly fits into your life when you're on the road. That you're like, damn, this is. You almost forget to talk about it because it's so good that you're just you're you're going you're going it just makes you more convenient more efficient and you know I love that I love being efficient and and maximizing my time so question you guys let me know what you think post the comments below if you have not already please give me a thumbs up I'd love it if you subscribed I do videos every day let me say a little thing about yesterday if you saw yesterday's video kudos to you I pulled it down um, so you are in the uh, in the super secret squirrel. Uh, video library watcher of Hashnasi. You should consider yourself very worthy. All right. Um, multiple reasons for that. Maybe talk about it later. Okay. That's it, guys. I will talk to you tomorrow. So one last item, my North Face hat, synthetic with a little clip in the back. I like to wear this when I'm on the planes. Sweat, you know, I can sweat, do whatever. Great, great hat. Um, anyways, I'm pretty much wrapping things up tomorrow here. So I'm very excited about that. A little bit different than I expected, but I'll, I'll take it. I'll go home. I'll be happy. This weekend should be interesting, though. Stay tuned.